Hey, hi. I hope all of you are doing well. I thought of creating a different video today which describes the sad reality of how data science interviews are conducted. I hope you enjoy the video. Before I jump on to the actual video content, it would be really helpful if you can click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to be notified for future amazing data science videos that I am planning to create. Without wasting any further time, let's get started. The video is broadly divided into two parts. The first part I talk about what are the major issues of data science interview hiring process these days and the second part I'll mention about how you can smartly understand if you should go forward with an interview process or drop it in the midway. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. I'm pretty sure you would have looked at job descriptions like this. These are unrealistic job descriptions that keep floating in the market. Now some way or the other you've kind of applied to such a job description and you've gotten an interview call. The company has reached out to you after shortlisting your resume and they've given you an assignment. A couple of my students reached out to me showing the kind of assignments that are expected to be solved in a very short span of time. So let me show you an actual sample problem statement which one of my students shared with me. So this is how it looks. There are a couple of other problem statements as well which I would like to show at this point of time. Here's the other one. So these problem statements are actual company problem statements that they are trying to execute via the students that are applying for job roles. And I find it very unethical on the part of the organizations to give actual problem statements to students who are trying to say find a job in data science and machine learning. Companies like these are taking the maximum advantage out of students uh, since they are kind of fresh out of college, since they've just completed a course. They expect students to come up with solutions for this in around a week or so, which is something next to impossible. So what a lot of companies are doing at this point of time is that they are entering into the AI hype that is there and uh, they are kind of pitching in different machine learning based solutions which they are not very much capable of in-house. So they kind of roll out openings and since they are kind of opening a lot of opportunities, a lot of people who are in need of data science and machine learning jobs, a lot of capable freshers who apply for these jobs, they are being conned by say taking the solution and giving it to the clients. Uh, this is the sad reality that is being floated in a lot of organizations right now. I wouldn't even say that this is only existing in a startup or uh, this only exists in a multinational company. There are different spectrum of companies that are carrying out this false practice. It is highly demotivating on part of the students who put in their everything in order to get a solution in such quick time and then the company does not even care to revert back. If the student even goes about and say inquires about the job position, uh, the companies after having stolen their solutions, uh, they just mentioned that the job has been filled by some other candidate. So it's a very disheartening situation for a lot of data science aspirants who are trying to make that initial cut into this field but are being conned by such organizations. It's really sad looking at the situation now. Now that I've explained how young data science aspirants are being say deprived of an actual job offer which they deserve. Uh, let me give out some points to you in order to understand if you have to proceed with a job requirement or a job process or whether you should stop in between considering things are not looking very good in terms of what the company is making you solve. So let's jump to the second part. The first thing that you should do when you apply for a job is to say study the company that you've applied for really well. Uh, you should know which company you've applied for, what does the company do. Uh, what is the company actually doing in data science and machine learning? If they are starting off fresh, then what is their motive behind the whole data science practice that they are laying down? So get clarity in terms of what is expected out of data science in the organization. In order to better understand the company, uh, do a simple Google search, go through their website, understand if it's a product based company or if it's a service based company. What is their product if they have a product that is there in the market? How much of data science and machine learning are they doing currently? Uh, what is their future scope in terms of data science and machine learning? So do this bit of homework even before you attempt the written exam that is given to you. So that is my first recommendation. Given now you have access to LinkedIn as well, which is a very powerful platform. What you should do next is find out people who are part of the organization 
uh, if it's a startup, you will have very limited number of people in that startup. Understand what their background is. Understand what your job role is. Is there anyone with the same job title as compared to what you have applied for? Try reaching out to him uh, until and unless he's your interviewer. And uh, that is how you get a sense of whether that company is right or wrong in terms of data science and machine learning. Understand the problem statement really well. Now, given a problem statement, say as bizarre as creating like an OCR solution from scratch, if that is to be implemented in close to three days, then essentially that organization is trying to get some work done out of you in that small duration of time. So understand what the problem statement is. I've been really lucky enough to give interviews in really good organizations. Uh, one good thing about good organizations is they understand what data science and machine learning is. So essentially uh, the kind of problem statements that they share with you is uh, they kind of give you a simple data set, uh, say with say 20 features and one target variable. It may be a regression problem. It may be a classification problem. They are also open to follow up questions. If you have any, uh, they lay a lot of stress on the exploratory data analysis piece. They want you to understand the data very well. They want you to generate insights of the data that is shared with you. Uh, they also want you to create models which are highly interpretable because companies uh, who work directly with business, uh, they want you to explain the overall model performance to a business person as well. So a lot of stress is given to actual model interpretability in good companies where whatever model you create, you have to explain it to the end user who's consuming that model result as well. So this is how you can evaluate a good company over someone who's trying to cheat you as well in such assignments uh, that are being floated around. So this is something that I can recommend. Uh, be very smart when you apply for data science jobs as well. Don't just apply in the sake of getting a job. Uh, essentially, even if you crack the interview, if they give you an offer, they might even remove you once the project is done. Be very careful when you are applying to such companies and uh, go through every piece of information that I've just mentioned and uh, yeah, stay safe. And uh, that is something that I wanted to share across in this video. I sincerely hope that this practice of companies giving out their actual projects to students and then not even giving them a feedback regarding how they performed should stop soon. Uh, but given uh, this may take good amount of time in order to say, uh, come down to normalcy. What I would advise to young students who are trying to make a transition is to be careful. And uh, yeah, that is all that I had in this video. I hope you are able to make that right transition into data science and machine learning soon. And I wish you the very best in your journey going forward. I hope you found this video informative. If you like the content on my channel, then it would be really motivating if you could click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon to be notified for future amazing videos on data science and machine learning. Thanks again for watching this video. Bye-bye.